In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus came with his disciples to a country place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit down here while I go over yonder and pray. Then he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be saddened and exceedingly troubled. He said to them, My soul is sad, even unto death. Wait here and watch with me. He went forward a little, and falling prostrate, he prayed, saying, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Almighty and eternal Father, accept our prayer of thanksgiving for your beloved Son, our Savior and Lord. As we recall his sacred passion, send the Spirit of Christ into our hearts, we beg you, so that whether we pray or work, we might do all in union with Christ our Redeemer. Amen. If you were there when they condemned my Lord, and oh, sometimes it bothers me, oh, it makes me want to tremble. Don't it make you want to tremble if you were there, oh, when they condemn, condemn my Lord. Our Lord is condemned to death. It doesn't seem fair. What did he ever do to deserve it? Chesterton said if Christ would come back, we would not crucify him. We're much too civilized for that. Would simply invite him to dinner and make fun of everything he says. How many carry crosses they never asked for, condemned for their past, chastised for their present, despairing for their future, crucified in the name of Christian righteousness or religious piety, condemned for their color, their race, their dialect, or their belief, condemned because they were told they were ugly, incapable, dumb, or incompetent, condemned for their personal preference, crucified for their personal limitation. Unfortunately, the condemnation is not to death, but to life. A life of shame, anger, and worthlessness that comes only because one is black, white, Jew, Gentile, gay, straight, rich, poor, productive, impaired, handicapped, able-bodied, single, divorced, educated, ignorant. The condemnation that is laid upon us all some of us did not ask for it. None of us deserve it. Let us pray. Lord, help me to recognize you not only in the saints and the martyrs and those we consider holy, but help me to see you in the innocence of the children, the wrinkles of the aged, the fears of the confused, and the cries of the angry. Help me never to be the executor of the present who condemned you centuries ago on a cross and now uses mere words to condemn you today in the name of God, whoever we have made him to be. Our Lord is condemned to death. For you then, 
when they lay the cross upon his back. If you were there when they lay the cross upon his back. And oh, 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 sometimes it bothers me. Oh, it makes me want to tremble. Don't it make you want to tremble? If you were there when they lay the cross upon his back. Our Lord takes up his cross. How am I supposed to embrace a cross when all encourage me to run from it or get rid of it? Help me to have the wisdom to realize that the cross was not your choice, but to carry it was. Help me to realize in order to remain faithful, the crosses I carry must be my choice. Help me to see the cross of the alcoholic, to bear the cross of my own weakness of the flesh, to accept the brokenness and the cross of divorce, separation, and the shattered lives we encounter. Help me to accept the cross of the unexpected death, the senseless violence, or the crazy war. Help me to find you in the midst of contradiction that only leads to confusion when there is no consolation to be found, and it leaves me alone and bitter. Let the handicaps and the limitations of my life be a cross that leads not to problems, but to potential, not to obstacles, but to opportunities. Therefore, to know you and the depth of your love. Let us pray. Lord, give me the patience and the perseverance to bear the burdens that bring about my suffering and my confusion. Give me the grace to accept myself, my temperament, my temptations, my limitations, and to be able to accept the trials and humiliation that come to me. In your passion, let me see possibilities. And in my cross, let me find courage. Our Lord takes up his cross. Were you there? Oh, when he fell fell upon his knees If you were there when he fell upon his knees Oh, 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 oh sometimes it bothers me Oh, it makes me want to tremble Don't it make you want to tremble If you were there Oh, when he fell When he fell upon his knees Our Lord falls the first time how could I, and me of all people? I should be stronger than that. I know people who do, and I don't judge, but I, above all, should know better. I recognize my cross. I face it. So how come I don't have the grace and the strength to overcome it and not be a victim of my own human weakness? It's so hard. I pray so often. I promise, and I fail so often. It's not like I don't try. I do. I just don't ever seem to really succeed or get over it. If I could conquer this, I'd be fine, I think. I hope. Maybe. Let us pray. Lord, in your compassion, you showed us how to overcome, not by being above falling, but by having the grace to get up and continue when we know that we rise only to face more of the same. Do not let our weakness fill us with disgrace so as to turn away from you. 
rather let it show us your grace so that we may depend upon you and know that in our weakness we're all the more in need of you our lord falls the first time into her eyes If you were there When he looked When he looked into her eyes No Sometimes It bothers me Oh, it makes me want to tremble. Don't it make you want to tremble? If you were there, oh, when he looked, when he looked into her eyes. Our Lord meets his mother. I'm so sorry you had to see me this way. It's nothing you've done. It's me. It's what I felt I had to do. I know you don't understand. But knowing that I've hurt you is a far greater burden than any cross I'll ever bear. There are times when you hurt those that you love, not because you don't care, but because you do. It hurts to say no. It's painful to love them so much and yet have to stop them. It's frightening to risk losing someone because you dare tell them the truth. One day, I hope you'll understand just how much I love you and why I did the things I had to do. It's so hard to hurt those that you love when you have to make them realize that just being right doesn't justify everything we do. Let us pray. Lord, give me the strength to watch those that I love suffer. Prevent me from foolishly thinking I can take away their suffering. Rather, give me the courage to endure in order to make their suffering redemptive. Out of our pain and out of our shame, our God creates virtues that never would have existed had we not first suffered. Help me, Lord, to let go, but to stay close and to trust. Our Lord meets his mother. Were you there, oh, to help him, help him in his need? If you were there to help him, help him in his need, Makes me wanna tremble. Don't it make you wanna tremble? If you were there, oh, to help him, to help him in his need. Simon of Cyrene helps our Lord to carry his cross. Well, thank God for Simon. We never really knew each other and weren't really that close. He just happened to be there. And God knows I sure needed a friend at the time. The cross was not his to give and therefore not his to take away. But he was there at the worst time, the darkest hour, right behind me, right beside me to keep me going. Thank God for the Simons who had it not been for you, I would have never made it. Or had it not been for you, I probably would have gone crazy. Simon is the one who, when we get to the end of our rope, teaches us how to tie a knot. And in the darkest of nights, Simon waits with us till the day breaks. Simon shows us that when God closes a door, he opens a window. As unknown as he was, he was so crucial. 
Help us never to refuse the Simons who just want to help. Let us pray. Lord, help us always to recognize and welcome the Simons of Cyrene. Remove the pride in us that says, look who's talking. I can do it myself. I don't need your help. It's your problem. You get help. Let us realize that Simon was there for you, and you'll send him to us if only we'll recognize him in our midst. Help us to realize that God works as he wills, not only in the convenient and the familiar. Simon of Cyrene helps our Lord to carry his cross. Were you there to wipe, wipe away his tears? If you were there to wipe away his tears, Oh, sometimes it bothers me, oh, it makes me want to tremble, don't it make you want to tremble, if you were there, if you were there to wipe, to wipe away his tears. Veronica wipes the face of our Lord. Veronica was to the crucifixion what the drummer boy was to the nativity. Whatever she had, she gave. She couldn't carry. She couldn't take away. But she could dry the tears with the only thing she had, her towel. She used what she had. I don't know what I can do, but if you need me, call me. I'll be glad to try. Come by for a cup of coffee. No, I don't have the answers. But I do have a towel to dry your eyes as you feel the pain of your searching. Look at all the faces who feel they have so little to give. In their eyes we see doubt, and in their hearts we see an endless sea of giving. Veronica never said, I'd love to, but if only I were richer, if only I were smarter, if only I were healthier, if only I had more time. Veronica never said, never. Let us pray. Lord, give me the wisdom never to apologize for being who I am. Give me the willingness like Veronica and the widow's might to know that any gift from you can never be worthless. Fill our hearts with a generous spirit and our minds with a searching eye to find our way to show our gratitude by the lives we live. Help me to realize that real happiness comes not when you have everything you want, but when you want everything you have. When I become grateful, then I become aware of God in our midst. Veronica wipes the face of our Lord. Were you there? Oh, when he lay, when he lay upon the ground. If you were there when he lay, when he lay upon the ground, and oh, oh, oh sometimes it bothers me, oh, it makes me want to tremble, don't it make you want to tremble? If you were there, oh, when he lay, when he lay upon the ground. Oh, sometimes it bothers me. Our Lord falls a second time. It gets so I don't even know why I go to confession. All I do is repeat the same thing. I say and pray one thing and turn around and do just the opposite. I wonder if he gets tired of all my empty promises and me of all people, if my husband, wife, 
kids really knew what I am, I wonder what they would think. And how can I be so weak? How can God forgive someone who's like me? It gets so at times I just as soon give up and quit trying. And who am I trying to kid anyway? How can I say I'll never do it again? If I'm honest, I have to admit I enjoyed it. That's why I did it. Then why do I feel so guilty? And how come I never stop? Let us pray. Father, help me to remember that your great love for your son and help me to realize that your son and your son alone was above sin. Open my eyes to realize that you are the only one who understands our weaknesses. Fill us with the knowledge that you do not demand perfection, only persistence. Give me the grace to join the human race, not as my excuse, but as my consolation and as my encouragement to get up again and again. Help me to realize that defeat comes not just in the loss, but in the failure to try. Our Lord falls a second time. Were you there to see the pain in their face? If you were there to see the pain in their face, oh, oh, oh sometimes it bothers me, oh, it makes me want to tremble, don't it make you want to tremble? If you were there to see the pain, see the pain in their face. Our Lord meets the women of Jerusalem. How can I explain this to those who love me so much? Those who looked up to me, trusted me, respected me, and depended upon me so much. There are so many people who only know one side of me, and it hurts so much when they see the cross, the other side, and realize what I'm really like. It's almost as if I'm two people. My head is filled with eyes heavenward, and my shoes are filled with clay feet. For God's sakes, if only I could become what I profess to be. If I could preach what I practice, and not try to practice what I preach, then I wouldn't be such a hypocrite. Then there would be no cross to hide, the cross of my anger and patience, or the weakness of my mind or body. When those who trust encounter my humanness, help me not to be discouraged, but determined. Let us pray. Lord, there are so many faces for so many occasions. Help me to define and face myself with the one heart so that I can search for the face of God in every person I meet. Give me the grace to give to all in need the strength and the courage that you have given to me. Let the belief of those around me encourage me to struggle so that I may become what you have called me to be. Our Lord meets the women of Jerusalem. Were you there when he tried, when he tried and fell again? If you were there when he tried and fell again, and oh, Sometimes it bothers me, oh, it makes me want to tremble, don't it make you want to tremble? I was there, oh, when he tried, when he tried and fell again. Our Lord falls a third time. That's it. I quit. I give up. Strike three, you're out. How can I go on and on? It's too much. I'm through. I'm spent. 
I'm tired of trying and getting nowheres. Every time I think it's going to be better, it happens again. I'm tired of hurting, and I'm tired of being hurt. I reach out in tenderness to get slapped down in anger. I take one step forward and two steps backward. I know you say not seven, 70 times seven, but this is a bit ridiculous, a bit much. Sometimes it'd be a lot easier if I just gave up. I might be miserable, but I'd be honest. I don't know what I'd be. Let us pray. Lord, give me the strength to get up when my arms are too weary and my heart has lost all hope. Let me get up, brush off the dust, get out of bed, face the new day with the hope that, no, I'm not perfect, but nor am I alone. Let me realize that I can love and possibly get hurt. When I cease loving, I cease living. Give me the courage to go on. Lord, help me to realize that failing to try is giving up on you. Our Lord falls a third time. Were you there when they mocked, when they mocked our love? If you were there when they stripped and mocked our love. And oh, 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 sometimes it bothers me. Oh, oh it makes me want to tremble. Don't it make you want to tremble? If you were there, if you were there when they mocked, when they mocked our love. Our Lord is stripped of his garments. The truth is finally out. I've got nothing to hide anymore. What they see is what they get. I've been stripped of the pride, the arrogance, the position that I lauded over them. There is no longer the title, the money, the office, the car, the reputation to make me into someone I'm not. Now that they know what I really am, how could anyone still love or care? I've had to give it all up and to forsake it to follow you. All I have is myself and my faith. Now everyone knows who and what I really am. And I'm scared. It's awfully cold when you're laid bare. Let us pray. Lord, help me never to use the gifts you have given me to belittle others. Enable me to give them something to live up to, not something to live down. Let me not be afraid of what I am, but humbled. Humbled into knowing that as long as you're with me, I need not hide. I need clothe myself with your love and your presence. In you and you alone, I find comfort and you know me. And in that, I find protection. Our Lord is stripped of his glory. Were you there? Oh, when they nailed, when they nailed him to the cross. If you were there, when they nailed, when they nailed him to the cross. Oh, 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 sometimes it bothers me. Oh, it makes me want to tremble. Don't it make you want to tremble? If you were there, if you were there when they nailed, when they nailed them to the cross. Our Lord is nailed to the cross. It's not bad enough that I had to suffer, be humiliated and embarrassed. There are those who still want to nail me to the wall. 
who insist on saying, look who's talking, who will not let the past die, but make sure the sin is ever before me and oh so visible. It seems as though they only feel good about themselves when the sins of others are in full view. They nail me with their supposed innocence by saying, they say, you know what I heard, whoever they are, they are nameless and faceless, who nail the sins of others on the doors of the church or hand someone else the hammer and say, it's none of my business, but the nails are so sharp and the wounds so deep. Let us pray. Lord, remove the hammers of religious self-righteousness that enables us to blindly condemn with the justification of, well, it's true. Help us not to continue this brutal act that places the sins of others above their heads and before us all forever. Give us the courage to be reconcilers, not crucifiers. Let my own sins remind me of the need for consolation, not condemnation. Our Lord is nailed to the cross. For you were there, oh, when he died, when he died upon the cross. If you were there, when he died, when he died upon the cross. And oh, Sometimes it bothers me, oh, it makes me want to tremble, don't it make you want to tremble, if you were there, if you were there when he died, when he died upon the cross. Our Lord dies on the cross. The cross looks as though it's won. It's over. The struggle is no more. The weight, the burden, the guilt, the fear of being discovered, the pain of keeping afloat that which has weighed me down for so long is ended. It'll be no more. I have to let go. It's the cross or me. It's the bottle or my family. It's the discipline or you're on your own. It's work together to be happy or be miserable by yourself. It's a cross that we've carried for so long. And Father, it is finished. It'll have to die or it'll kill me. It may be heavy, but it's familiar and it's hard to let go. Let us pray. Lord, letting go is so hard. As painful as it was, I'm afraid to be alone or without. If I let go, I may lose him forever. But if I don't, what am I really holding on to? Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Let me never be parted from you, but by your death and resurrection, bring me, Lord, to the joy of a new life. Our Lord dies on the cross. Were you there? Oh, when they laid, when they laid him in her arms. If you were there, when they laid, when they laid him in her arms. And oh, Sometimes it bothers me, oh, it makes me want to tremble, don't it make you want to tremble, if you were there, oh, when they laid, when they laid him in her arms. Our Lord is taken down from the cross. Poor Mary, 
her only son, destined to be the savior of the world, upon whom the rise and fall of many would come to rest. And we had such great hopes for that boy. How afraid she must be, and how painful to see someone you love so much, so lifeless, so unfair, and to be so alone. How can you save someone from a death that had to come? How can we spare youth from the mistakes of their innocence? How can we protect them when they insist on the life that only brings empty joys and broken promises? It's so hard to just be there and pick them up when they fall. But nothing I would have said or done could have changed him. If you don't look, you'll never touch. If you don't touch, you'll never feel. If you don't feel, you'll never cry. And if you don't cry, you'll never heal. But why does it have to be that way? Let us pray. Lord our God, help us to love and not count the costs. Let us love them enough to stop them, and if not, let us love them even when they've gone too far. Let our love be a decision, not an investment. Help us to love even the unlovable, the ungrateful, and the unchangeable, and let our final act of love enable us to just be there when all we can do is cradle them in our arms and weep. Our Lord is taken down from the cross. For you there when they lay, when they laid him in the tomb. If you were there. When they laid him, when they laid him in the tomb, and oh, oh, oh sometimes it bothers me. Oh, it makes me wanna tremble. Don't it make you wanna tremble? If you were there. Oh, when they lay, when they laid him in the tomb. Our Lord is laid in the tomb. How dark, how cold, how alone. The funeral is over and everyone is gone. The house is so big, so empty. And everywhere I look, I think of them. The decision is made. They know what the alternatives are. They have to choose. And I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they will get help. I don't know if they will go for treatment. Try as you might, there is no comfort for the unknown and there is no consolation among the undecided. I have to trust that death was the right thing. And even though the tomb has brought me darkness and doubt, I have to trust and keep going. But it's so hard and so cold and so dark, and I'm so alone. Let us pray. Lord, you probe me and you know me. You know my every thought and you knew me in my mother's womb. Give me the wisdom not to search for miracles but the grace to realize that to the depths of despair or to the height of the heavens, you are there to guide me and guard me. And you will bring me through the darkness of nights to the dawn of a new day. Our Lord is laid in his tomb. For you there when he rose up to a new life. If you were there, when he rose up to a new life. And oh, oh, oh sometimes, it bothers me, 
Oh, it makes me wanna tremble. Make me wanna tremble. Were you there when he rose up to a new life? The resurrection of our Lord. He was born in the summer of his 27th year, coming home to a place he'd never been before. I never thought I'd make it, not in spite of, but because of. I'm a better person. I'm not just alive. I have a new life, life I've never known before, a life of sobriety, a life of honesty, a marriage that I always wanted, a life where I no longer take for granted those that I love. It's nice to know I'll never have to stand at a grave and say, if only, a life that I can choose to act and not just react. A life not of a victim, but of a believer. If only I can let go and let God, He will create virtues that never would have existed had we not first suffered. He left yesterday behind Him. You might say He was born again. You might say He found the key that opens every door. Let us pray. Lord, through the suffering, crucifixion, and death of Your Son, You have brought us to the joy of the resurrection a new and everlasting life. Help us never to despair, but to realize that death did not triumph. Lord, for your faithful people, out of the pain and the crucifixion of death came a new and everlasting life. Help us to hold on in the coldest, darkest, most painful hours, so that in the end, we will know that it will never end. The resurrection of our Lord. For you there, oh, when they crucified, when they crucified the Lord. If you were there, when they crucified the Lord. Oh, sometimes it bothers me. Oh, it makes me want to tremble. Don't it make you want to tremble? I was there. Oh, when they crucified, when they crucified the Lord. Whoa. 